Nike's mission, which is something that I put in place when I first joined the company, was innovation beyond waste. So in more ways than one, we try to innovate so that wastewater as a whole is no longer wasted, whether it's in terms of conserving energy for our clients or conserving the amount of water being used for the environment as a whole. We're trying to turn every wastewater stream into a resource, whether it's to pull out every single possible resource that's contained in it so that when we process um, for contamination, we can pull out the nutrients, use it in another source, whether it's an industrial filtration to make sure that we can concentrate to the best of our ability so there's no additional water wasted. Everything is about innovation, pushing the envelope, making sure there's no waste. I think as we have developed as a society over the last few decades, one of the biggest advances, I think, in mentality is that we've realized that our resources are limited. I think more so in previous centuries, in previous decades, we've pushed innovation without wondering about the cost to society, the burden to us as a nation, as a civilization, as a planet. And I think now that we have that at the forefront of our imaginations, that there's so much R&D available, of funding available for this type of innovation to promote sustainability, that the elimination or the minimization of waste has become a new priority for us. In Korea, we began in livestock wastewater, which is an extremely challenging waste stream. That is how we were able to push the technological um, advantage of our, of our offerings um, early. From there, we expanded to sort of an agricultural focus um, in Korea. When we moved over to the United States, we target municipalities for groundwater remediation, wastewater reuse projects, and industrial wastewater um, for discharge. On the other side, we also have a membrane filtration technology. That's the primary technology we're promoting at this particular conference and through bio. It's used in industrial production processes to reach higher concentration targets and higher recovery rates because it's able to handle very high solids, high viscosity um, waste streams and process those. Industrial biotech right now is focused um, primarily on Bio, I would say innovative substances, right? And pushing to more efficient production processes, pushing forward to make sure that um, we are getting the most out of any sort of uh, production process. For us, we have a membrane filtration technology that we use to reach higher recovery, higher product recovery, so higher productivity from a particular process train, and higher concentration. So we take in a lot of substances that most companies would not think to use membrane filtration technology for. We push the envelope for what conventional technology is capable of right now, and we process it further so that we can use the least amount of energy and other types of resources in order to promote the most amount of production at the end. The partnering service has been invaluable. Every single person that we've talked to through partnering has had a relevant intersection of interests and I've been booked pretty um, solidly through that partnering service. I've also found that as a whole, even though the conference itself is smaller than some other industrial biotech conferences I've been to, the leads walking by are far more focused. So as a whole, I think that every person who's come by our booth is much more informed than the typical conference attendee. Um, they're aware of what our technology can do and what the industry as a whole, um, the, a, a good broad base of what the industry as a whole is like. And they're much more willing to proceed to an in-house test or a bench scale test, which is what we are here to um, identify.